Hey, what's going on, guys? So, real quick, I wanted to show uh, how I prime cartridges or how to prime cartridges. Um, if you were to get some of these cartridges from the website, first of all, if you order it from the website, uh, really appreciate it. Thank you more than you even know. So, uh, let's get into it. So, first, you get your cartridges, they'll come packed like this. We'll go ahead and just open this up. You don't need a razor to open that up. We'll open these up. And again, these chips, uh, these cartridges don't come with chips on them. So if you'll notice, uh, there'll be no chips here. As with other cartridges, there might be chips here. But these cartridges are for uh, printers running chipless firmware. But we'll start with uh, yellow. So these are going to be some new inks I'm testing out. You, know, you don't want to um, put all of your ink in your tanks if you're not satisfied with the ink. So I'm going to test these out with cartridges first before I fill, uh, fill my tanks up with them. So uh, when you first get them, there'll be a uh, fill plug hole, a, a, a fill hole plug and a vent hole plug on there. Usually the ones uh, with the... The vent, the vent hole is co uh, covered with a, a, a colored plug. Um, I like to uh, put my colored plugs in my fill holes, but anyways. So you're going to make sure that the uh, vent hole is covered um, and you haven't punctured the film on the bottom of the cartridge yet. So what you want to do is just I got these uh, syringes uh, already pre-filled with some ink. So we're gonna go ahead and insert into the fill hole. Probably can't see that. So we'll insert into the fill hole and push that in there. So these syringes hold 10 milliliters of ink. I'll go ahead and put in 10 mils. Then we're going to simply take the needle off and insert the syringe into the fill hole like so. And I'll take this off so you can see it a little bit clearer. All right. So we're going to take it like this. And all we're gonna do is pull up on the plunger slowly, and then I just let it fall on its own. And what that's gonna do is remove air from the chambers and put ink into the chambers instead. We'll do it one more time and just let it fall on its own. Oops. Then, once you do that, you take this out, and then you put your needle back on, and then you can continue filling it up with ink. So I'm going to go ahead and fill the rest of these up with ink and give it a test print. But before you insert these cartridges, it's uh, recommended that you prime them. Now, some people will say that you don't have to prime uh, the cartridges. Um, and some people say you do. I'm one of the people that say you do need to prime them. Um, so that's what I do. I just prime all my cartridges before I put them in, in use. So we'll go ahead and put this uh, fill plug back on here, the fill hole plug back on here, and I remove the vent hole plug. Um, definitely want to have that removed uh, before you put it into, into the printer, or it'll create a vacuum and it won't print at all. So I'm going to go ahead and fill the rest of these up.
All right, so now I have four filled and primed cartridges. So when I do my test, I can start off um, each each uh, set of uh, each ink set will have its own cartridge. So this will be one brand, that'll be another brand, that'll be another brand. Um, so I got all the ink here, getting ready to do these, and I just want to show you guys how I do my um, my priming of the cartridges when I first open them up to put into the printers. So, yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, like I said, a lot of people will tell you that you don't need to prime them. I'm on the fence of uh, you do need to prime them. And uh, like I said, there's a hundred videos on how to do this. And now there's 101. So thanks.